sound check. This is Tiffany, Tiffany Wallace with New Horizons. And you know me, yes. Okay, good, we got that covered. Okay, good. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. So I'm here with Tiffany Wallace. We're at Tech Ed in beautiful, well, Orlando. I mean, it's beautiful in Orlando. I don't want to, no offense to people from Orlando, uh, but I moved to Seattle for a reason. It's cooler there. I would believe that to be true, and I do find that people are shuffling from one air-conditioned vehicle to another. Yeah. So there's definitely a presence of, um, we'll sit here and have dinner here if there's air conditioning. Right. That's right. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, not so much of a crowd, but it's been a phenomenal week so far. Um, it's always exciting to get because I try and tell partners whenever I talk to them, you know, they, there's this, uh, Tiffany, you really like tech ed and you're so involved in WPC, what's the difference? And it's, this is our clients. Very different, yeah. This, this is, The difference for, for folks that don't know, I mean, tech ed is, it's really for IT pros, developers, it's the technology people, whereas WPC, there's plenty of those folks around. I mean, we're talking about the Microsoft stack, so it's all basically technology people. What is for the, the business people, the partners? Um, and this is definitely, these are the folks who are making decisions within companies on what technology to use, what Microsoft technology to use, and they come here, and it's not just, it, it's companies like yourself, like Exceller, and what can your software offer them, right? And so it's almost an opportunity for them to talk to lots of different vendors and make some decisions, and then call you back after the show and go, hey, you know what, I really like what, you, what your software could do for our company. And then some of the conversations I've had with my friends at TechEd about what your software is doing. For a company like Exceller, that's in the SharePoint space. I mean, there's three events that we have to be at. Uh, the SharePoint conference, if there's one that year, of course, number one, but uh, WPC is essential. And I would say Tech Ed is the third. Uh, it, there's so much, uh, just a volume of contents, the drinking from the fire hose experience, uh, as well as getting a real you know, in-depth uh, opportunity to look at other third-party solutions, uh, talk to partners like New Horizons, and just uh, figure out you know, more of what's happening within the space. And, it, and actually, this is, part of uh, our strategy, our planning for WPC. There's a lot of things that we go look at and it all, it, you know, it extends and that it kind of builds into that, that strategy. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. So being involved with uh, the Microsoft Partner Network, uh, being involved with the International Association of Microsoft Channel Partners, um, Tiffany harassed me for like a year to get involved. And he did um, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's the one with John Roskill at meetings, you know, That's where right. like he John's but John's making his way around and you know, I can't say enough about Christian really took IMCP seriously and said this is something that is gonna really have a lot of value for my company. What can I do to get involved and how can and he and you know he, he hesitated for a little while and said, you know, maybe I need the right people to really kick it off and then you know they just did it, and they really had made such value of what that chapter can do for you. And it certainly helped, and, and I think that's an important lesson there, is that you're not alone in doing that. And one, there's always people that are interested in getting involved. For me, it was, I mean, I think, uh, and credit uh, Jeff Shuey with Kodak for uh, going in there kind of, you know, side by side and doing this, of course, with Tiffany's encouragement of what the, the steps are. The hardest part with getting involved with any new network uh, IMCP is part of that. Is is you know what is the support network? What do I need to go do? What are those first steps? And you know, and for uh, for New Horizons, we're members in chapters across the U.S. Obviously, internationally, um, for the state, I, you know, for the states I represent, we're involved in every chapter. And it's just an opportunity for you to, to know who are the go-to partners. Um, all too often, you're working on something and you know it's out of your wheelhouse, and you're like, who? Who is someone trusted that I can go to that I really believe they're going to take care of my client, they're going to do the right things. And there's obviously tools out there that are valuable, like Pinpoint, where customers put references. Um, but that relationship that you can have one-on-one -on -one with those folks in your own town in those chapters really, or conversations you can have with them and say, I'm looking to do this, who should I talk to, who should I work with? And that's the value of ICP is that whole partnering aspect to really help propel your business to the next level. So let me ask you, what is New Horizons doing? What is your strategy preparing for WPC specifically? And then we'll come back and we'll talk about IAMCP. So you know, New Horizons, 300 locations globally. Um, and so we have, basically about 75 to 100 people who come. Typically owners, we're franchised, so typically owners. And then we have our corporate level folks who are coming um, from the, you know, the franchise or level. Um, but the franchisee, from my perspective, what we're doing is I, we 
have such a regional footprint with these 18 locations. It's who do I meet with? Who are those NSIs or those SIs that match my footprint that really have value when they're planning their FY13? How do we integrate New Horizons in with them? Um, the LARS, right? I mean, just I really believe that the U.S. has a strategy that the three-legged stool approach, and I am just such a believer in it that when you are working with a client and they engage on an enterprise agreement, it's not only about selling them the software, but it's an involving that SI that, that's going to actually implement, and then a training partner who can help them make sure that they get the training they need to implement the software and make the right decisions. So it, it, that approach for us in FY12 has been really, really strong. So going into WPC, my goal is to meet with those folks one-on-one, -on -one, those SI partners and those LARs to really understand what direction we take for FY13. But as well, the business groups, right? I mean, what is going on? Um, I would tell you System Center is something that we, you know, we did training in over the years. Really a customer request. Wasn't a huge on our schedule open enrollment. Huge demand for something like that now. So to meet with some of these business groups and have meetings with them to understand where this technology is going and making sure that we are prepared for our clients. Okay. What uh, so somebody who's brand new to WPC? I mean, what's your what's your recommendation? And for those that didn't didn't catch it, so I actually did a session on NPN Live with yes. John Roskill and Kat Tillman, and we kind of you know asked some of these same questions, had some of the same conversation. And I I know what my answer was. I don't know if you caught the, the stream, or just caught the video. I don't know that I know your exact answer to that. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, so what what is your what are like the three things that people should think about plan for as they prepare to go to WPC for the first time? Leave your shyness at home. Um, do not go with, you're going there just to learn for you, right? I mean, it's a matter of, um, when I say leave your shyness at home, you really do, if you're sitting in sessions, engage with the person sitting next to you, talk to them. You have no idea where, where that relationship can tell you. So for me, relationships are key. So really engage with that. Okay. Um, level number two, I should number say. Number two. Um, this is your one chance that the Microsoft field personnel are there for you to engage with. So every partner you've ever talked to is gonna say, I don't even know where to start when I'm talking to Microsoft. I don't know who it is I'm supposed to be working with. When find I'm supposed your field to do. people. Find your field people and do engage with them. Do your homework, know who they are beforehand. They and will be there, or representatives from that, and that is, you're right. And, and, and it's not about just what they can do for you. Be prepared when you meet with them what you're looking to do with Microsoft and what business strategy you have, because that's where you add value to anyone's, right? It's not just about what's in it for you, it's what's in it for them. Right. So be but, prepared. But you, yeah, what, be prepared. Again, I'll just emphasize on that, on knowing beforehand. Do not wait until you show up at the event to start to, to go in and understand who you want to meet with, because a lot of those people, everyone from that region are going to be trying to schedule time with them. You need to do that beforehand. So exactly. planning is essential. And I would say, you know, a month, here we are, a month before, it, it's like the time is now to have that schedule to make sure that you're locked in, that you're going to be meeting you're with You're going them. to get their time because their time is, is very busy. And then third, go do something outside of your wheelhouse. You know, there's so many new competencies, so many new lines of business. We, um, I, I'm very good friends with lots of partners who have been core infrastructure for so long, right? And they're seeing a change in their business and they're wondering, where do I go next? What do I do? Um, do something, sit in a session that's outside of what your wheelhouse is because you could really understand whether or not that can add value to your business and, and when you're you know, you're contemplating what to do next, what, where your business strategy is going. So I would tell you that um, I always tell folks, come sit in a learning session, right? I mean, even though you're never going to be a learning partner, come sit in a learning session because it's interesting to see how we, maybe how we judge classes, maybe it's a session on how we evaluate things. Could be, a di I'm just throwing that out there as an idea, but really gives you an opportunity to see how another competency is run, another a value set. Um, and the kinds the of questions one, that people are asking. The fourth one I would oh, add is, I, I've got to add a fourth. I've got to add a fourth. Okay. Um, you're so, you're going to be caught up in relationships, right? We've made a lot of things. You're caught up in your Microsoft field personnel and then obviously, you know, something, at you know, looking at competencies outside of what you do now. But there is an incredible business and leadership track at WPC. And I went to WPC for probably two years before I ever attended one of those sessions. These are speakers that are world-renowned that we have at the conference. So obviously you have your big keynote, right, with Deepak and Chopra. But you, if you make sure you look at that track. There are sessions on, you know, how do you make consultants better salespeople, right? I mean, there's some really valuable things. And if you're just looking at your competency sessions and not really looking at that business and leadership track, you're missing a huge opportunity. Yep.
And so one of the things that just to, to let you know, and uh, well, when it's published, it should be coming out pretty soon. It's being edited right now. But I actually wrote an article that's coming out on digital WPC. I write a, a blog. So about you know two or three times a month, I, I add to that out on the NPN site. Uh, about how uh, uh, IAMCP is an extension of WPC. Really? Yes. So one of the things, and that's just this concept that I brought up in the broadcast on MPN Live, uh, but it's really this idea that there, Microsoft is expending a lot of time, a lot of money in building up the brand of digital WPC and kind of those online properties and trying to make you know, the, the, that whole experience sticky. Like, so it's not just a, people are on the site uh, building out their schedule for WPC, right. they're on there two months beforehand, and then shortly after the event, they drop off not to return until the following year. They're trying to make it this ongoing, you know, this value it's proposition. Right. It's a relationship. But they, you're providing content and tools and the, and the networking opportunities year round. Well, I said, well, but that's what IAMCP is. I mean that, it and so it really is an extension of that. So part of it is, I think the uh, you know ownership for that of it making that sticky needs to be driven back to the chapters, and that they are looking at maybe their specific calls to action that Microsoft can provide through. And this is something that we'll talk about the ongoing development of WPC, and I'm going to try and kind of push those concepts. And I see that um, I, you know from uh, years past, I do see that value in IMCP that's growing with tools like Pinpoint, right? So. The, We've done several sessions with IMCP chapters to really understand how you come up in those search engines, how what does that do for your business to be a part of those things. So, and I do I do truly believe IMCP should be the extension of WPC. That WPC is that one one year event, but you have those you know all through the year you're taking part in partnering to grow your business. Right, and so I think that there is uh, the work that can be done to take some of those actions, take some of those takeaways. Uh, like definitely you want to go participate in WPC, but for the people that are unable to make that, or maybe for your extended team that you, you weren't able to send, uh, that the local uh, chapters of IAMCP, which is all about peer-to-peer -peer networking, can take some of those tools, take some of those learnings, you know, over the course of the year. And I mean, I could even see as part of the content that's generated at WPC, that there's even like a, a, a kit that's packaged in some way to push out to those chapters. So it's not just, you know, as, as a chapter president, you know, president of the, the Seattle chapter of IMCP is as we look at different topics and what more folks want to learn about that we actually then have this catalog of content of ideas uh, that we can you know pull in and draw from from that annual conference so I just see that see that being a great tool that can be expanded and developed and you know everyone knows why I have been pushing someone with this brain power to be involved in our organization and not I say our because it is our organization right and and it's truly a belief that folks like yourself can really come up and, and think of things that maybe we haven't thought of already or maybe someone thought of and just didn't have the bandwidth to do and produce and now you have that month to get it done. And this is the kind it. of thing that I just think that a training organization would you know, kind of think about, you know, <laughs> uh -huh. wait for somebody. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll never forget Christian's first WPC. And he got there on Saturday, do you remember? And I said, DC. DC. Yeah. And, I, and, and so he tweeted, hey, what's everyone doing? And I said, you can come to this dinner. There's about 13, 14 people here, and you won't know anyone. I did. Um, and he came, and I, you know, those are friendships you probably still maintain. Yep, I still and, see a few folks and, and talk And that's what it's about. Places. So it's as structured as we're telling you to be when you get there, knowing who you're going to meet with and knowing, make room for those spontaneous type activities, because those are some of the friendships and relationships that have the most value to and, and honestly, so there are a couple, for being a, you know, a SharePoint ISV, and there are some of the NSIs, some of the bigger companies, that it's very difficult to get FaceTime with it. Correct. Until you build a relationship with them. They see you, and, it, and for a couple of these, it's taken, yeah. I won't name who they are, it's like, but it's taken a couple years of just them seeing and recognizing that now they know the name, and, they're, and so they start then saying, it's like, you know, we need to sit down and figure out how we're going to work together, and it happened because of the relationship. It happened because of you know just of seeing each other, having regular conversations where we're talking about building our businesses. It wasn't just me hounding them like we need to do business and it needs to be like this. It was uh, much more conversational, much more you know what, what can we do? Here's what we're doing. It's not the right time now. Let's come back and have another conversation, and that's part of it as well. 
Because what I said, my, my response to the question on the, the, the MPN Live of the, the focus of WPC, because there's some great content that's there, definitely, but is that the connect, um, the meetings, the, is the most valuable thing that happens there. The rest of it, I look at even all the great content, there's a lot you want to learn and pick up on, is all window dressing compared to the, the ability to sit down and connect with those partners and with the key Microsoft people. Don't you find, um, and, and I'm sure, I mean, how many folks does Acceler send to WPC? We're sending eight or nine this time. So it's very important that the eight or nine of you don't do the same thing. You, no. you guys get to see nope. each other at business meetings nope. all the time. Yeah, you know no, what? We actually are making assignments, exactly. Yeah. If that I work with you, I don't really out. need to see you every minute of the day. Right. But let's not both sit in the same session. Let's not both go to the same meetings. Well, then they were mad. So my team here was mad that I didn't go to dinner with them. And I'm like, I have dinner with you all the time. I told my team last night, we were at the MCT uh, party for Microsoft Learning, which was an amazing event last night. And they're all sitting together talking. And I went, I you know what? I talk to you guys all the time. Yeah. I always See tell my guys, they, we go sit down and I'm sitting at one table on a big spread and they come in and they start sitting down right next exactly. to me. I'm like, go away. <laughs> over there, over there. So Make the experience count. You get this one week a year to be with some people that have amazing ideas, amazing thoughts, and really invigorate you to go back and make some substantial changes in your business and in your strategy. And you really have to make the most of it. Um, and you're not gonna do that by just being with the people you work with, because guess what? You get that the other 51, well, right. after you take vacation. Right. Like Christian probably gets like four weeks vacation, so the other 40, six weeks of the year. <laughs> four days, maybe that'll take, yeah. yeah we'll so. go with that, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, it's just an exciting event. Um, you know, I get questions all the time, like, you get so excited about WPC, and I do because, there's so many great relationships that built over the year, and it's so exciting to get to see someone. There's nothing like that in-person conversation to say, "How is your business going? What you know? What are you seeing strengths, and what are you seeing a level of excitement in your own business?" And bringing that back to our company. So, well, so how can people get in touch with you? So I am Tiffany WI everywhere. So Tiffany from Wisconsin. Formerly Wisconsin, remember? Yeah, formerly. Oh, yeah. So formerly Wisconsin. So Tiffany WI on Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, connect with me if you're going to WPC like Christian said definitely use the reach connect out tool. Yeah. use the connect tool um, you know there's the amazing US uh, function one night that week uh, that the US team is just working so hard on as well as the other regions but personally speaking on the US side um, so connect let, you know let's talk let's see how we can do business together or if even if it's just strategy talking about growing your business I'm always up for that all right